these bosses that just like use a predetermined pattern and the only way to like do anything about it is to just like memorize the pattern like I mean that the one boss that was like this in Super Meat Boy for example it's like I hate bosses that act like this because they're like the most annoying bosses ever all right now he rolls on the floor and then he rolls on the floor again and now I hit him again, and he's dead. Finally, about freaking time. Alright, so we run through here. And Eggman runs faster than you, no matter what you do. And he jumps into this giant monstrosity right here. This, folks, is the Death Egg. Now, like I said, you only get, like... You don't get any rings in this level, so you have to, like, be really careful. Because this boss takes 12 hits to die. So, yeah. Just try to, like, not die at all. Because if you do die on this boss, you have to face Silver Sonic again. The safest way to do this is just wait until he, like, goes back down to the ground. Because that's, like, the only time that he will essentially just fall to the ground and, like... I just went straight through him. Thanks, game. Gee, that's just awesome. The game totally goes against me. But as you can see, this level's very difficult. It makes sense why people haven't even beaten this game before. Well, that was a fail right there. Now I'm not going to be able to do anything at all. Really? Really? Can I please just do this for once? I don't like doing this. It's annoying. This is the most annoying final boss of any Sonic game. Hands down. Like, there is no competition. Alright jump over me. Basically, once you get this guy's pattern down, he's extremely easy. But, until you get his pattern down, yeah. Alright, back for round two. And his arms do kill you, by the way. They count as spikes. Really? Why does that keep happening? I shouldn't be, like, going through him. I'm supposed to bounce off of him. Really? Ugh. I'm save stating the next time I get to that stupid idiot. Cause I'm done facing this guy. Alright, we beat him. I'm save stating. I don't care if you don't like that. I'm. 
there. If I die again, I'm loading. I don't care. Right. One hit. Oh my god! Are you freaking kidding me? Why does that keep happening? Like, seriously, what in the world is going on? It's not supposed to do that. Can you please just, like, not do stupid things this time, game? There. Yeah, shoot your arms at me, see if I care. <sighs> I think that's like four hits, I don't know. But he just alternates between these two attacks. Nothing much to it. It's rather easy if you can actually time your jumps correctly. The, s the problem is that one screw up and you're done. That's the problem. And the fact that he takes 12 hits instead of 8, like every other boss in this game, is also kind of annoying. But hey, that's just what you gotta deal with. Should be about done. Just come fall, whatever. I think he's like been hit ten times, I'm not sure. I don't care, I just want to beat this guy and get done with it. Alright, he's done. Alright, now we run out of the exploding space station. And there's the animals watching the exploding space station from the ground. And then there's tails. So he plans on getting back in the ship so that he can go save Sonic from his death. And obviously, if you didn't get all the Chaos Emeralds, then he will not be supersonic at this point. Alrighty then. So that was Sonic 2. And yeah, that's prob- well, I mean, it's not my favorite Sonic game, that would be Sonic 3. But it is the one that I have the most memories of, even though I didn't really do a lot of memories. Mainly because I just want to get to my next project. I feel like my next project's probably going to be the best one on my channel so far. So, if it seems like I was trying to rush through this game, it's because I was trying to rush through this game. Not that I don't, like, want... Not like I didn't want to do this game, because I did want to do this game. I just, like... I don't know. I just really wanted to get to that. 
And I'm not going to tell you what that project is just yet, because we still have some bonus features for this game that I still plan on doing. And these bonus features will include things such as the rest of the cheat codes, like I said, and will I will also be going in depth within the various other, like, things in this game. You'll see what I'm talking about when we get there. I haven't ever seen any, like, Let's Plays that show this stuff off. Although, to be fair, I haven't watched that many Sonic 2 Let's Plays, so, I mean, whatever. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that was Sonic 2. So, yeah, Sonic 2's done. Super Meat Boy, I do not plan on doing that much more of. I'm pretty sure that I beat the game at the end of World 5. If that is the case, I will be ending the series at the end of World 5. If not, then I will just play until I don't feel like playing anymore. And yeah. So, I would not expect Super Meat Boy to be going on that much longer. And I'll be posting probably a few more bonus episodes of this. And aside from that, there's not going to be much else aside from my next project. <coughs> So, yeah. That's basically that. So anyway, um, yeah. I would like to thank everyone for watching. Thank Matthew for doing some guest commentary with me in the first few episodes of this. Um, aside from that, I can't think of anyone, uh, anything else to say. So I guess, until whenever I record the bonus features, which is probably going to be next week, I will see you guys in the next, um, let's play. That was a horrible outro. Why am I still recording? I don't know. I don't know. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next let's play. Goodbye. <laughs>